Hello, my name is Zachary Shaked and I'm applying for the fall 2021 semester to pursue my master's in math. Before I get into why I want to pursue my master's, let me first start off with an identity that drew me into math in the first place that really sparked that excitement within me. It was back when I first started studying calculus and we were learning about infinite summations, most notably the Maclaurin series. My mind was blown that we were able to approximate these functions using an infinite number of summations. Taking an infinite number of things, we were able to represent it as one function. It starts off with the Maclaurin expansion of e to the x, which can be expressed simply as x to the n over n plex over n factorial summation from n to infinity. We're then able to take sine of x and take that summation, which is equal to minus 1 to the n over 2 and plus 1 factorial, summed from n equals 1 to infinity. And we have cosine of x, which is complementary to sine of x. While sine of x is on the even, cosine of x is on the odd. And it goes from minus 1 to the 2n plus 1 over 2n factorial. They almost look like when you sum the sine of x and the cosine of x, it should equal to e of x. Cleverly enough, if you multiply the sine of x by i, we get something interesting. We get that e to the i x equals cosine of x plus i sine of x. If you plug in pi as x, you get e to the i pi equals 1 plus 0. These are the five most fundamental mathematical constants. It starts with e, which when you take the derivative as many times as you want, you get back the derivative. It was first discovered for use in finance. Then you have i, the imaginary numbers, which gives us solutions to so many algebraic equations that we never would have thought were possible. Then you have pi, discovered and used all the way back by the ancient Greeks, to relates the circumference and diameter of a circle. Then we have one, perhaps the most fundamental number, the, or the first number discovered, even understood by some animals. And then we have zero, a very strange abstract concept when you really think about it. It's the concept of representing nothing. I like to think about Voyager out there in the universe, carrying on at all our mathematical knowledge, and that somewhere out there, if there were such an intelligent civilization as our own, they would have had to have stumbled across these five numbers as well. Einstein once said that the laws of the universe should be able to be summed up in one equation. And yet here in mathematics, we have so many fundamental constants, so many great breakthroughs in mathematics, all interrelated by this one equation. It doesn't seem like they should even be related, but yet they are. And that's really something that drew me into mathematics. And that's what I'd like to delve into further with my master's in mathematics. When I was studying math, I wasn't really sure how all the subjects related. I found them all fascinating, but I wasn't really sure how I would apply them. What would I do with them? What career would I go forth with? Upon graduation, I started and founded two companies. I created one which was a social network to, um, to connect people based on their location, and another which was used for population density tracking and the use of COVID-19 hotspots. All of these, I thought, would just be... I, I didn't see how they would connect with my knowledge of mathematics, but every single day, it would require me to draw upon some piece of that knowledge, whether it was stochastic processes or the use of graph theory in the database and both in the in social interpersonal connections. Or perhaps even further, I was able to use the Cantor diagonal ag argument to formulate an algorithm um, when determining friendships between people. I never thought that so many aspects of our life could be interrelated, so that so much mathematics could run through our life. And yet here we are, using and adapting everyday machine learning, which is fundamentally built behind the concepts of calculus and linear algebra. So much of our lives are influenced by mathematics, even now so more than ever with COVID-19 uh, to do, you know, modeling and tracking, and the, the production of vaccines, so much mathematics is required. And that's exactly where I would like to use my knowledge of mathematics. I would like to further that knowledge to apply to issues of health, um, solving problems within the healthcare industry. You know, one of the fun, one, I, I'm very thankful to have grown up in New York City. I was, I went, I attended public institutions from, pub, from elementary school through college. And I believe I got one of the best educations there are. In New York City, you're able to prove yourself, you're able to learn, and you're able to have the opportunity to pursue any path you want. And that's why I believe that NYU Current would be the best place for me to pursue this degree in mathematics, so that I could be right here in New York, so that I could further in, in, uh, use this knowledge, so that I could apply it to problems, and that I would have these opportunities to help back and give back to the communities. I believe that the mathematics that I study there will be able, will be put towards something great. Uh, you know, we don't know in the future how we'll use this mathematics, but just having it at our disposal is in and of itself something truly valuable and something that I would like to further propagate. I'd like to thank you for your time and I appreciate the opportunity.